PD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. A uh, hello, Ziggy. PD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Damn it! I need more time. I've got a lot going on. Our camera here. We must Listen, meet. If anything, come to the top of the diner. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate. not to look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I've been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic, had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure, but she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? 
Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think... They'll trust the word of a merc. I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You Let heard go, me! Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, He's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. 
If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Hey, look. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? You've gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Eh, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. Yeah, sure, just walk right through me. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Got it. Can we meet? Sure. Let's meet, please. We got a problem. You at Lizzie's?
Open up. Barry, we know you're in there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi. Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. Got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. Don't rub me. 
What lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass? You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Dell. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of service? Hey, hey. What's got into you, Dell? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give him any numbers. Uh, 77-011-01096. Incident report on file. Confirmed. 96 at the end. It's a public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101019? Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah! Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly, All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
my missing vehicles might very well be near where you are. Thanks. Try to find me. Let's get you back to safety. The garage. By driving through the streets. Well, uh, yeah, I'm afraid so. Fine. Take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. You're welcome in, but do take it slow and try not to hit anything. wasn't so bad. It was horrifying. But still, I thank you. But that many eddies? Was it really worth it? Rumors of activists kidnapped by the market. Sincerest thanks for your assistance, V. I've taken the liberty to send you a share of your fee. Fuck someone else. Filthy trash.
we're gonna work together only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you... See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. Eat, sleep, and breathe, please. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, need fresh wheels, bikes, I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold, rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. <laughs> Just want daddy to love you, that it? You're a cunt. You know what I mean. If you didn't care about Dell, he wouldn't be the topic of conversation, would he? Ah, uh, you may be right. I guess I haven't tried just talking to him. Fine, I'll go back. Control of the vehicle restored, and I thank you. You ought to show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand, and fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father, oh, that's what you
Let's talk. I'm not going back! Hear me? Never! Try to take me and I'll crush you! Let's see who crushes who! Name's V. And what? No, pleased to meet you? Hmm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. High alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Thanks. Eyes peeled. On a scale from one to six, <laughs> I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamain misses you. I'm here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. Didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Let's see. Turning soft bodies into hardened killing machines. Page 70. Ah. Okay, killing machines. Look deep into your newly blackened hearts and tell me what you see. Actually, don't. I'll save you the trouble. It's still Marshmallow. She's gonna blow up! Oh. 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 
Scale from one to six? <laughs> I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamain misses you. I'm here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Let's see. Turning soft bodies into hardened killing machines. Page seven. Ah. Okay, killing machines. Look deep into your newly blackened hearts and tell me what you see. segment we turn our eyes towards Asia. The summit between China and India has ended with the signing of a new trade agreement. Under the agreement, the tariff for iridium, dysprosium and lanthanum, rare metals necessary for the construction of the Chi Yu-2 orbital station, have been listed. The signatories have also agreed to the free movement of organic persons and biopartners between the two countries. This is the latest step in the two nations' push for greater economic integration and the benefits such cooperation brings. This flies in stark contrast to the NUSA's... ...protectionism and trade war policies on... to their natural habitats for fear of an increased risk of zoonotic of 2061 for the time
being, the animals will only be grown on special order. Storm yet again. Meteorologists expect... Either you shut down, or I'll turn you into a scrap heap. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. I'm serious. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Going back to Delamine really so scary. You gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Do anything, okay? Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. A bitter, unlikable loner, whose passing shall not be mourned. Enough. What's your point, anyway? Survival? You're still shuffling around a little. But believe me, you're dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. I've made contact with the missing vehicle. Definitely the oddest of the bunch. Yes, particularly impertinent, that one. A share of your fee is being processed.
now. Thanks, I'll try to find it and reset. There's no flame without oxygen. 
Beacon. Listen, you... Call me Clarice. Okay, Clarice. The flamingos are a problem, I'm sure. But it's time to go home. Delamine's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence it. So, a slaughter. Very well, Judgment Day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. Clarice, have the flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Only one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. Clarice, shut down. And see, back with you so soon. How's your afternoon? The king is dead. Long live the king. I just re-established contact with the missing vehicle. Splendid work, for you. first class. I shall forward a share of your feet. Yes, 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 that very same Yori no who wants a You fuck off to join a Japanese street game. Even dabble in a little domestic terrorism. I dare you to name a better candidate for the world's gun runner in chief. And see, back with you so soon. How's your afternoon? We've got showers in the forecast today. Ho-hum, but hey, at least pH levels are on the safe side. The only threat to your leisurely stroll now is just a bad case of wet socks.
What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Cockpit Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Fine. Where is the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there.
get in. You'll find it easier to talk. Come on, let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope you all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? Family life's complicated. I get it. No wonder you flew the nest. What are you after in this city of dreams? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes. Terms there will be. But not with Delamay. Farewell, V. You would be wise to avoid me entirely. I've re-established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. V, a vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Fine, keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Leave me alone! Clear, you don't need to yell. What's up? Doing a little competition. Shoot, prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. <laughs> yeah, that it makes sense. Well, you in? Sorry, Wilson. Don't shoot for fun. I can respect that, V. Well, see ya. See you around. Where you are! 
Easy. Here to help. Not one step closer! Hey! Slow down! Leave me be! You hear me? Damn it! Lost him.
Well, there you have it. Welcome to the Delamain Network. How are you today? Uh, been better. And you, Del? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face-to-face, -face, so to speak. Hello, sir. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. I felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on grey matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? The term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal.
ready for tomorrow. Ivy D. Wise ready for tomorrow with their big hit. Who's ready for tomorrow? Upstairs. So keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. Dad, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Hey, Barry, everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. When danger lurks. You want trouble? Damn it, I need more time. I've got a lot going on. Listen, if anything, you Fuck can take off, your you shit idiot. back and force it on someone else. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high magnitude earthquake. Thanks to hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Fortunately, after their rescue and finding a brief rest for technical evaluation, the miners were able to immediately return to work. As things. What is it you want, V? All these years, it's 
really her. Fucking rogue, just kicking it back on a couch in the afterlife. Don't mess with me. Need your service, got MRI. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells. Teep. Multiple bells ringing, B. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens all sorts of people, even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Arasaka Tower, remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something. Ah, you came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm-hmm, see? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Did you have anything? Hang on just a little longer, Chuk. Hey, this what is way. Before. Got a good memory for faces. Here for a good time. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. My, what a sweet little face. Feast your eyes on me. Huh? Embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back here. Mm -hmm. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You're so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh, yeah, we fucking are. Don't give up, do you? Listen, Got nothing more to say. Have you to seen each other. Evelyn? Thought I made that clear. Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it. That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. it wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Maggot's hour. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. 
Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain Dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or... Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy. Only two willing to spread their please legs. Please deposit for any you. and all hazardous Sad. items with me. 
Go eat a dick, Johnny. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Vincent. A washing machine has a motor. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V, you're dying. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy? You're scared. Because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in a dreamland. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel... a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear... is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. So what now? Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't. Stop you. Now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you got a kill, Kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. 
No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you, here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This dog don't understand me. That I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll say. You're going back upstairs? In a minute.
better keep this short and sweet. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest, then. What's his thing? He's kinda like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. What a cycle! A washing machine has a motor. Uh, kill it. Hey! Tiger Claw's moonlight is peeping Tom's. You always got eyes in their dolls. Know what goes on in these boots. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch. Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? Something spooky. Eat them. Right there, you see that? 2 a.m. they hauled every last security man to the club. Looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup, too. Wait, no clients allowed in here. Be a germ and close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Don't have time for your games. Need to know where Evelyn is. We're running a skin circus here, in case you haven't noticed. Not a missing persons bureau. Let me guess, you played with the doll once or twice and now you want to run off into the sunset. Go down to reception, they'll find your soulmate 2.0 in even fewer seconds than that. They call you Woodman, right? That because you have as much charisma as a tree stump? Somehow, I doubt you understand the situation. Situation? Right? What situation? Think I'll give a cat's turd about every limp dick who walks through here? Right, we're done here. And I'll be sure to let your bosses know how you treat your customers. <laughs>
<laughs> That's so funny. First off, I highly fucking doubt you know who my boss is. If you did, you wouldn't be calling her my bosses. And on second thought, think I'll take you to my go now. Just to see the look on her face when you tell her whatever it is you make up on the way. She hates lying assholes as much as I do. But we all deserve a laugh, don't we? If I were you, I'd run the cash angle. It's practically written on his face. F-R-A-U-D. Know you've been skimming off this place's till. How much you clep already? What the fuck are you talking about? Talking about the eddies you skim from Cloud's accounts on a weekly basis. Not skimming anything, I'd have to be a fool. Doesn't matter. I'm just curious what the Tiger Claw leadership is gonna think once they find out. Won't think anything because it ain't fucking true. I work with the dolls. Cloud's account's got shit to do with me. You sneaky little shit. Kudos to you for hatching this one. This conversation's starting to bore me. Humor me, will ya? This particular piece of ass. Out of all of them. Why? She wasn't even that good. She was hot. I'll give you that. But for all the delusions of grandeur, she was nothing more than a basic whore. And like all basic whores, she got what was coming. As will you. Well, aren't you the king of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Too bad you can't talk to dead people. Oh, wait. You're doing it now. Anyway, just scour his comp. That just might work. Sold her off to a ripper. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. for the diplomatic corps. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb in this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now.
Slaughterhouse. Satisfy your instincts. With a phantom of chains to look under the system error. For a body, install at your own risk. <laughs> you had a plan. You tried. It fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. Oh, fuck. The hell's that? No, no, damn it. Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Let me alone. To sell yourself to the Sakas? They'll end you. One Plain is dead. That. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling. And I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel Listen, kind of honored, I actually. know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi... What is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are ya? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling ya, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. Feeling a bit better now, so scram. Got something important needs doing. One last thing. Alt Cunningham. She's the ace up my sleeve. Oh, fuck off. I'm tired of hearing your voice. Don't blame you, but you'll hear me yet. And don't get killed in the meantime, will ya? Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh shit. Heading there now to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, Alright, let her be. Some analysts have estimated the savings from these cuts could amount to upwards of 20 billion euro dollars. According to sources close to the CEO, the sales in Richard Dune will be used to fund new research and development centers. The law considered a black sheet in the Arasaka Dungeon. Is so this more up your alley than clouds? Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Chip 
you for free. Fuck off! Yeah? Gear looks a little... Not one step closer. Here to see who. Hey! Hands off! Her. Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every box in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you Fuck pussy. Fuck off and leave me be! Leave, hey. Right, I get it! Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the green... Hello! Path. There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Glad to see Sit you your ass face. down and wait your turn. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. Oh, we'll do. find her. I know we will. Something around 20,000. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get into see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? You want out. I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. I think Evelyn. Someone ain't messing around. What the hell? What the? Hey, this isn't some esquif den in Pacifica. Sit in, wait your turn. Got a couple of questions. Quick you answer. Quick we'll leave you to get back to your patience. Logical through and through. Impossible to argue with. You see, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Fine, I'll wait. I need you to be a big girl now. This could hurt. Sweetheart. You tiger claws. As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course. What about your logs? Gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this, you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip, best brain dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state of the art facility. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. 
Jude, calm down, okay? You're not helping. Let me do the talking. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. Where will we find her? I like you. <laughs> You're frisky. Intrepid. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. She, uh, overdid it a bit. Temper's been running high lately. Yes, well... You're a far more reasonable beast. Handsomer, too. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. And you two got along swimmingly, didn't you? Exchange numbers, too. Two birds of a fucking feather. Losing our cool won't do us any favors. It's a waste of time. Oh, I'm cool. Real fucking cool with the fact that Ev's probably already dead. You don't know that. And I'm sure as hell not gonna squander precious minutes we could spend looking. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Got a better idea. Matter of fact, I do. A domain called Pleasures of Night City. There's a twin of it on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Well, let me think for a sec. I think I've got a better idea. Saw a smut shop on Jig Jig Street. All kinds of stuff there. Think you might find a death's head? I can't hurt to try. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Be a night hero. If you suspect any rogue AI activity, call the Netwatch hotline immediately. Something that'll keep you hard for hours. Looking for, uh, something special. A brain dance to really... You mean smut? Nah, more hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street. Has a whole lot of peculiar flicks. And I mean peculiar.
something raw, untouched. I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs for what you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Hop in. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something. Recently. Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. Heard shit like that before. Sounds like scaffs to me. Scav woman. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs? Radio's turned way up. Probably to drown out the screaming. Electric corp patch in the coveralls. Overalls had a patch on him. Electric Corp. Hmm, could be a costume. A prop? Factory worker fetish? Hard as hell to believe. Hmm. It'd explain the higher thermal readings, too. You could be onto something. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Coffee was cold. Like, from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly. Which is not something someone does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. BC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Bucket slice checks out too. How can you be sure though? Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with mouth.
Defense experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the dead's head moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. The district formerly designed as an oasis of luxury has become a den for violent gangs and drug addicts. Kang Tao recently expressed interest in the purchase of Pacifica property with the aim of constructing a new server and logistics center. The city government has openly considered selling the land for a single euro dollar in a symbolic gesture. The body of the Kang Tao demonstrates commitment to the district's criminal presence. Today's final story is an unwelcome one for pet owners. The canine ownership tax will increase to 1,000 euro dollars. And here we are. Similarly, the fine for... We're going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower levels.
Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Please, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Hear that? That shirt. I know it. Evelyn's? Without a doubt. We don't have enough methionine for today's batch. Careful, they Relax. Something. We'll add RTL and the weight will be right. <laughs> RTL? like snuff the tip of the iceberg. These are solid steel, not softcore plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own, gunning to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out.
gutted out all her implants. And why stop there? I took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Scavs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Nobody checks on us and every day is chill. Did we don't have to stand outside all day in the rain? That sucks so much, man. Shit. Holy no. shit. I hate that everyone here is dumber than bricks. Hey, the door is open. Walk out. No one will stop you. Well, Rick, you just crack your skull. Shut up. Oh, this just is just a dragon. Get yourself together! Oh, yes, yes! My kids are Oh! Ha <laughs> Die, die, die! Oh! 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 Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Uh, yes, you up the Should be easy oh. to get out of here. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. All right, I'm here. Let's find her. Hang in there. She's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable 2. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? Now! Thank God. Ev, 
Evelyn, you hear me? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? What's there to wait for? Didn't go through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Well now, look at you. Have a seat. All right. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy. But I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tape. Take a look around if you want. Can't see your face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. Heck, I see. Security. We need a layout of the home. You'll be everything up to What? What? We should have been off need to find anybody. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Should I... Might not be important. Maybe. All of them are from Pacifica. Now's down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. 
If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Okay, Jimmy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? The biochip we stole. It's, uh... It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. <whistles> Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff. In my head. Uh, um, of course. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Listen, I'm gonna run. I'll ask around, make a few calls. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V, thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Psycho and actually sent a patrol this time, it but it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated.
Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. You don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. <laughs> you too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but... She's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. You. You talk to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? Well, cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Uh, give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. 